WXEX TV is honored to be associated with this significant community event, a Richmond celebration. The following 30 minute program is our way of thanking and congratulating those who made it possible. To the beautiful new Omni Hotel, Faison Associates, and of course the inspiration and driving force behind it all, Pam Reynolds. And those of you who paid to attend this event, which raised much needed funds for the Arts Council of Richmond, the Richmond Ballet, the Richmond Symphony, and the Virginia Opera. This celebration raised, in fact, more funding for the arts than any other single event ever in Richmond history. The spirit of giving for the love of the arts and the community made this celebration something unique that we felt should be shared with all our viewers. Your host for a Richmond celebration is British television star and ringmaster David Hibbling, who has performed with circuses all over the globe. And now, just for you, a Richmond celebration. My name's David Hibbling. I'm your ringmaster and host for a Richmond celebration. And this is Baby Flora, one of the show's biggest stars. The Richmond celebration was staged here at the Omni Hotel last Thursday, and calling it the hottest ticket in town is an understatement. The event was sold out four weeks in advance, and it's become the largest and most successful arts fundraiser in Richmond's history. In the next half hour, we'll take a behind-the-scenes look at preparations for the event and sample food fit for a king, including four types of caviar. We'll find out what it takes to stage a circus inside a hotel, and we'll relive the excitement of a Richmond celebration. Well, I'd say to someone from Richmond that you couldn't believe it, but I'd say to the rest of us who live here today, I'd say it's wonderful. You know, it takes a lot of planning and preparation to stage an event the magnitude of a Richmond celebration. After years of blueprints, thousands of welds and tons of stone, the atrium near completion. While the designers had planned for many uses, housing a circus just never came up. But the show must go on, and following the installation of special rigging, special scaffolding and special audio, it was time for lights, camera, rehearsal. It's beginning to look a lot like a circus, doesn't it? <laughs> Since January of this year, about 4,000 people have applied for jobs at the Omni Richmond Hotel. Presently, 300 are employed here. And that figure does not include the 110 people who are hired just to handle the grand opening. 98% of the new employees are from the Richmond area, and the Omni is still seeing approximately 50 applicants a day. And after every detail was ironed out, including how you get an eight-foot-wide elephant through a six-foot-wide door, it was showtime. <laughs> Calvin Davis is one of the country's top calliope experts, and he's from Richmond. His old-fashioned music brought back childhood memories of the circus and was a real hit on opening night. <laughs> the lion is actually Arthur Ducek, a sixth-generation circus performer from Vienna, Austria. Arthur has been performing since he was four years old, but won't reveal his age. Six by nine inch bike he rides is the world's smallest high wire bicycle. Goldie is 20 year old Uta Simons. The West German beauty is taking a break from her studies at home to try the circus life and earn money for college tuition. Arthur and Uta are a new team. They had only performed together twice before the only opening.
Garrett Felker of Pennsylvania and Jim Strinker of Colorado make up the Dynamotions. They began juggling independently of one another in high school, and since they teamed up a couple of years ago, they have become one of the most popular juggling acts in the world. The Dynamotions have won international awards. and Jim Strinker of Colorado make up the Dynamotions. They began juggling independently of one another in high school, and since they teamed up a couple of years ago, they have become one of the most popular juggling acts in the world. The Dynamotions have won international awards, and following a Richmond celebration, they left for a three-month tour of Europe. to what we're doing here in Richmond. Uh, we're one of the fastest growing cities in the country. I think it has uh, an indication of what we can do and what we will do in the future. The party is the most unbelievable thing that's happened here in a long, long time. It really is. This is a fantastic event, and I believe this sets Richmond apart, and it shows that traditional Richmond can, in fact, uh, have an event which has all of the flair of events that are held in New York and Los Angeles, Chicago, and other places throughout the world. Your attention, please, as we introduce from Mexico City, the sensational, the glamorous, the Navarros! SD and Raquel Navarro are seventh generation circus on both sides. Together with their mother, Raquel, they make up two separate family acts, the Dolly Sisters and the Navarros. In 1981, the Navarro family competed against 250 acts from all over the world at the famous Monte Carlo Circus Festival. They were selected as third place winners by a panel consisting of Princess Grace of Monaco, her husband Prince Rainier, Cary Grant, and circus producers from around the globe. spectacular evenings I've ever seen and by far in Richmond, Virginia I've never seen anything like this. The gathering, the spirit, the quality of what's been provided is absolutely fantastic and to think that as a result of it the arts in Richmond, Virginia will benefit. It's really, really fantastic. The husband and wife magic team of Mike Phillips and Trisha are from Roaring Gap, North Carolina. Five years ago, they gave up their successful electronics business to enter the world of showbiz, and today their act is one of the leading circus illusion acts in the country.
Elephant Hotel. The site of the evening's festivities is part of the James Centre and is located just west of Shoko Slip on what used to be the turning basin of the Kanawa Canal. The hulls of some 16 ships were uncovered during the excavation for the foundation. The past is remembered on the floor of the atrium by a relief of the area and by a mirror in the hotel lobby which depicts the area around the time of the Civil War. The corner of 10th and Kerry Streets features a landscape plaza with seating made out of stones from the Kanawa Canal turning basin and the Glaber restaurant will feature old Virginia recipes and the best Virginia wines. Well, it's a little bit like both a birthday and a marriage. The birthday, in a sense, because Finally, after all those years and months of working at planning and creating uh, a very important uh, hotel, it's finally open. So it's a little bit like the birth. You have been awaiting. And in a sense, it's a little bit of a marriage at the same time that you celebrate because it is an association of a number of parties, the developers, the owners, the financial. the developers, the owners, the financial community, the management company. What would a Richmond celebration be without food? Chef Daniel O'Neill, known as Chef Danielle, and his staff spent nearly two weeks preparing the food for this evening. From red pepper linguine with white clam sauce, to sautéed Carolina shrimp, to roast sirloin of beef with Madeira sauce. And for those individuals with truly discriminating taste, there were four different types of oysters served on the half shell, and four varieties of caviar served, of course. Oh, I love the raw bar and the caviar. I just thought it was great. I can't eat anymore. And they tell me I only ate the hors d'oeuvres. Well, we hope everybody that came tonight comes back and spends a lot of nights in our hotel. And after you thought that you'd seen and tasted it all, dessert was served. Entertainment. Yubi and Fluga! Yubi and Fluga! Han Balancer Yuri Krasno and aerial artist Luba Pisarankova were members of the Moscow Circus until they defected to the United States one year ago. The Russian performers came to America to pursue their careers in a free country and brought with them few belongings. As fate would have it, Yuri and Luba, on their flight to America, were seated next to Molly Faison, wife of Omni developer Henry Faison, and the rest is history.
course, uh, what's important is uh, whether the customers and the guests that we have invited feel that it is uh, what we expect it to be. But I would say that as a celebration, it is a grand celebration. And therefore, in that regard, I would say that it is um, doing what it was intended to do. We are so excited about being in Richmond that the thing has made it is the Richmond people. They have given us the support. They are here. They are enthusiastic. They seem to be so positive about what is going on. And I just feel wonderful tonight. I mean, it's just a grand occasion, and I thank Richmond for giving us what we had hoped they would. Oh, I think it's been a fabulous night. Um, I love the animals. All this I didn't realize that animals were going to be here, and the elephants and the the tigers. And my favorite sport, favorite was uh, the baby tigers. And I think it's nice that people can have a picture taken with them. Everybody's having fun. It's a family kind of outing. We've got the animals. We've got festive atmosphere. We've got well, just a lot of fun people here. You may recognize Leo. He's the famous MGM lion. For the evening's festivities, Leo was flown into Baltimore by, who else? The Flying Tigers, and then driven to Richmond, where he mingled with guests, as any star would. They brought this lion, and they said, can I touch the lion? And they said, sure. So I touched the lion, and said, I'm going to tell my children. <laughs> I, I stroked the lion, and then the elephant came, and I said, can I touch the elephant? They said, sure. So I stroked the elephant, and I, I never would do that in my life again, I know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from Circus Forum, one singular sensation, the lady herself, Miss Flora! <laughs> David Balding's childhood fascination with elephants led him to a career as general manager of England's famous Chipperfield Circus and later as manager of the Big Apple Circus in New York. His love for elephants was evident in his relationship with Flora, an African elephant who was at the opening to mingle and have her photo taken with the guests. <laughs> came to visit and Dondi came to perform all the way from Alabama with owners Phil and Francine Schatz. enough adjectives and adverbs to describe what's happening in my hometown tonight. I said wow, wow is the only thing I could think of. It's uh, unbelievable, it's a lot of fun, and it's a, they've done a world of good for a lot of organizations in Richmond, which uh, the opera, the ballet, the symphony, the arts we council. We particularly appreciate that because it's not always easy raising money because we have four major arts groups here. And when they are willing to come in and do that much for us, it's a wonderful thing for Richmond. We feel very lucky. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my happy privilege as host and sponsors of the Richmond Celebration to announce you. Wow. Wow.